Yo, what's up guys, uh, real quick, uh, I did get my new microphone, and now this is a tutorial on how to make something like this, as you can see, it's very retro, kind of 80s looking, you know, you see this in a lot of, like, hip, I guess, titles back way in, like, old, y y you get what I'm saying, uh, anyways, I'm going to go on Google Chrome, the reason we're starting here instead of Photoshop, we need to download a couple fonts. The first font we want to get is called Axis. Not Asus, Axis. As in like... Yeah, Axis right here. Axis... Uh... Font. Right here. And then, download. Alright. Then you're gonna open it up. Alright, then OTF file, double click it, open it up, do install, and then it's just going to go ahead and install for you, close that down. The second file we're going to want to get is, uh, I think it's a yeah, Streamster font. Okay, Streamster, I'll, I'll put a link to both of these fonts in the description, so you don't have to look these up yourself. Right here, download, open this up. And dot tff install. You get the drill. Now that we have that, we can go ahead and start with the tutorial. I'll see you there. Yo, what's up, guys? And uh, um, anyways, as you can see, I've already done so much on this right here. Uh, that was just some practice before I started doing this tutorial. And uh, anyways, uh, we're going to start into a new one. I'm actually making this into a banner. That's what actually what you really want to do because you only want to use the figures for a rare occasion because a lot of these effects they take a while to get down and I wouldn't see myself doing them for like every thumbnail and for a video or something you know anyways um, so we're just gonna go ahead and start out with a black background as you can see I've already placed on the YouTube channel art template but I'm gonna go and delete since I already have this right here marked out and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and make myself like a little uh, banner real quick I might actually use this I don't know it's a really cool thing and uh, shrink that down to where it fits in all right. Put it right there. And then, let's see. Now, let's try a new one here. Make this smaller than 72 pixels, make it about uh, 36. And do. There we go. Then, Streamster. There we go. Put this right here on down some. Alright, so here. Skew it, that up. All right, there looks good. And uh, what do you want to start with this right here? What do you want to do? Let's go ahead and right click it, do and uh, convert to shape. Press Control J or Command J, depending on what you're using. Uh, double click this right here, and uh, go ahead and make this outline. And then this second layer right here, want to be center. Go to the outline layer and uh, see. Do this and then right. Go to this tool right here and up here. You should you should see this? And it should say fill. Go over here where it has that line and to the stroke. All right. And then go ahead. I'm gonna go ahead and make it red. Doesn't really matter what color you make it at this point right here. Just conduct this, and then uh, what I'm doing is gonna go over here, and then the align set it to this right here, so it goes on the outside, and then the lower. The, I'm gonna go ahead and lower the size some, a little bit smaller than that. No, there we go. That's about right. Okay. And um, no. 
Don't do the same thing for this right here. Don't. Alright. And uh, go to, over to the outline. And now, sure don't just set it instead of actually being text, it's just outline. This right here is the inside. So on the inside, you're gonna go ahead and go blending options. I'm gonna go down here to gradient overlay. And uh, as you can see, I already have the color done out right here. Except I'm gonna go ahead and just go into a new one real quick. Make a new one. And I go ahead and clear these out. So I'll show you what you need to do. Okay. You're gonna start with two blacks over here. And uh. I'm going to start up a new one right here. This is going to be a darker blue up in this area right here. Let's start up another one right over here. This one is going to be white right next to it. I'm going to do another one. It's going to be black right here. And the same thing over here except right here. We're going to go ahead and make this right here. A really pink purpley color right here. This right here, it's, instead of being black, it's going to be white. Alright. And that is pretty much it. So you can see there's like not much difference between those. Alright. And then go ahead and do OK. Should be fine. And then, uh, like, if you're getting something like this right here, something like that right there, you got to adjust your scale until you, you get it about this right here. This looks really good. And, uh, Make sure the angle is set to 90, you have it reversed, and make sure it's aligned with layer. And then, all this stuff, you know, do all this, and then you're done with that. Okay. Now you also want to go up to blending options. And you're going to want to do a, see, do inner shadow. Not an inner shadow, uh, uh, inner glow. Sorry. And then on this right here, you're gonna want something more like a. Okay, then over to. Alright, you should have this right here, and then this right here. Go ahead and choose this right here because this is a gradient. Click on it, and then you're gonna make this right here. Very like, I guess grayish blue, and then, okay, and then okay. Alright, <coughs> and then also uh, on here. Back to blending options. Also, we're gonna want um, a stroke. So we're gonna make it black, or not black. But we're gonna make it white from black. Turn the size down to about two pixels. Oops. Uh, blending options again. Yeah, about two pixels. And then um, blend mode. It's going to be color. Uh, where's color? 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 There it is. I get color uh, opacity, turn that down a little bit. Oh, opacity, not fill opacity. Uh, wait, I can't remember. Uh, overlay, yeah, overlay. Alright. No. Hmm. Hang on. Don't know why it's doing this, it was working just fine for earlier. Uh, blend mode, color burn, yeah, color burn, that, there we go, that's it, color burn, and finally, on the outside, we're gonna go ahead and outline, blending options, and then go on over to a gradient overlay, okay, now, we're gonna go over here, and instead of using this right here, I had, I thought I had it saved somewhere, uh, uh, it's easy to make. Go ahead and do a new. Alright. Go over to this. And then. I'm going to delete that. Delete this. Delete this. Delete this. Okay. I'm going to go and make this right here. This kind of sky. Like a really light blue. Like, not that color. I'm going to get in another one. And make this one a darker blue. And to go ahead and preserve the uh, color, um, okay, you're going to go ahead and make another one right here. It's where it's just like a pattern. And to preserve the color, I'm going to make sure this one is selected. You should have a little dropper. Click on this right here. It'll get the same color. 
Same effect over here. Drop that in. Click there. All right. And this right here. Also make it the same color right there. Okay. Now you're gonna go ahead and mess with the angle a little bit. Try to get it look good. Also mess with the scale some a little bit. About there, I think it looks good for me. All right. Now this right here is the really tedious part. So instead of doing that right there, because I'm gonna time lapse that part, I'm gonna save that part for last. I'm gonna go and go over to the uh, this my uh, second text up here. I'm gonna go ahead and do blending options. This is a lot of blending options, so make sure you get them all. I'm gonna go over to bevel and emboss, and uh, you're gonna want inner bevel technique smooth the depth, make it at 100%. Direction up. Actually, I'm gonna put mine down because I think it looks a little bit better. Size turn that down to about five pixels. And soften, don't worry about that. Angle 90 at altitude 30, it's fine. Okay, and then you're gonna go and do a color overlay here. So instead of having blue, we're going to do a hot pink. Actually, no, 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 I'm gonna do a color overlay, we're gonna do a, a gradient overlay instead. So you can get a little bit of a better effect. Go over to this gradient overlay, and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and get um, a two color. Make this first one right here a light pink, like a really light hot pink. Second one, a uh, little bit of a darker hot pink, but sort of less balanced, you know. Uh, make it a little bit darker. There we go. Okay, that's good. Let's sort of move that up there a little bit. Okay. Actually, I'm gonna make that a little bit more pink. It's gonna be very vibrant, you know really lively I guess okay, that's good that's good <coughs> now we're also gonna do an outer glow of course Go over to this no not drop shadow outer glow and we don't want blue for this one so of course we're gonna go ahead and go to our color kinda make it of course vibrant pink turn up the spread a little bit not that much a little bit maybe two pixels size turn that about like that you know and uh range bring it down a tiny bit maybe yeah i think right, right there looks pretty good no jitter opacity turn it down just a little bit and then that's going to be pretty much all the effects for that and um <coughs> anyways now we're going to go and get to this part right here and uh, i'll show you what to do and then i'm going to throw it a time lapse to go ahead and complete it and um I'm going to take the uh, polygonal lasso tool, which will be up here. You may have the lasso tool or the magnetic lasso tool selected. So if you want the polygonal lasso tool, we can get angles. And um, all you got to do is just click up in the corner. Like this works good for sharp angles. And then click down here at the end of the, of the outline. And back over. And then up. And then all the way back over and close it. I'm going to want a new layer, layer so control shift in. And then I'm <clears throat> going to go ahead and do, make sure you select black and then your second color white. And then we're going to go over to our fill tool right here and change it to a gradient tool. And then we're going to go over here to the left and we're going to go ahead and drag it in. It doesn't really matter how far you drag it in, like that. And then right now it looks black and white so it doesn't look very good. So we'll, what we're going to do is we're going to go over to here and then instead of being uh, normal, we're going to get to color burn like that. You can see it goes from darker to lighter. So, and then, so now we want lasso again. We got line over there. Down over there. I don't know how well this M is going to work out. We'll figure it out though. Let's see. Alright. Uh. I don't know why Slab Blizzard opened for playing Overwatch earlier. <laughs> Alright, let's go on back up and meet it again. Alright, same thing. G for the gradient tool. And, no, 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 G for the gradient tool. Drag it down and do that. Okay, good. Nope. Last right here. Same thing again. You guys get the drill by now, I think. So I'm gonna do one more, and then I'm gonna throw it in a time lapse. So, 
for instance, just go around the layers of your text and just keep on doing this right here until it's all completely done. It's going to take a while, especially if you have a lot of characters to do, except um, this is pretty much why I didn't I didn't uh, suggest that you do it as a regular thing like for thumbnails for like every video because it is very time consuming doing this right here. So I'm going to go and drag it down, uh, down here and wait that up and then G drag it on up and boom there we go and uh, anyways here I'm gonna go and throw it in my lips I'll see you guys later It's a perfect match. <laughs> 